everybody, Lori Ann Garner here, and this is my daughter, Rachel Miller. I almost said Rachel Garner, <laughs> <laughs> but she definitely is married, and she's got one little boy, and she is expecting another little boy, like any minute now. We're so excited. <laughs> <laughs> but I um, am here today because I have had so many questions about um, people taking our or drinking our magic water while they're pregnant and it says on the bottle to not to drink it while you're pregnant that you need to consult a physician. Our family has made the choice that it's an okay thing to do. So Rachel has drank it all through both of her pregnancies, but with her first pregnancy there were some unexpected complications and her baby was born six weeks early. And people have asked, is it safe? Um, and our company has done $7 million worth of safety studies on the product. So we felt like it was 100% safe. We uh, trusted that and we've used it on our grandbabies, on our children, on our grandparents, on every age because the safety study said it is 100% safe for 100% of the population. And if you read the ingredients on there, all the ingredients say is salt, sodium chloride, and water, H2O. So we know that it's not just sodium chloride and water anymore because of the process that it goes through, which is layers and layers of patents that are on this technology and um, that makes it so that it has become now the exact same solution that is in every single one of our cells, clear down to the nanoparticle of our cellular structure. With that knowledge, that's just a little bit of what it's about and why we feel like it's so safe because it already exists inside our body. So when we're having struggles or problems, why not just give us a little bit more? And Rachel was drinking it. Um, well, you just tell them a little bit about everything that you went through and how much you were drinking. Okay. Um, so I have been drinking this magic water, as we call it at our house, uh, pretty much since I was a teenager. And when I became pregnant, we knew that I might have complications, but we had no idea what they were going to be like. And so for me, I felt a lot more comfortable being pregnant and having a baby inside of me drinking this magic water because it made me feel like I was doing something for my body and for the baby just in case something happened. And at 34 weeks, I went into the hospital. I'd already been into the hospital twice. I had been drinking anywhere from two to six ounces. At the beginning of my pregnancy, um, I drank probably six to eight ounces every day just in case. And then I kind of petered off a little bit towards the end of my pregnancy, drinking about two to four ounces every day. And I'd been into the hospital twice already with some complications. And this third time that I went in, they told me that my water had broken and that I was going to be having this baby. And I was terrified. We had the baby. It was a very, very complicated birth, very traumatic for my little Ezra as, as my little boy and um, they had to use a vacuum and forceps to get him out. And by the end of the hospital stay, he was two inches shorter than when he came out of me because of how much swelling was in his head and um, from the birth and the traumatic birth that he had. So while he was in the NICU, I sprayed a Sia in every single one of his little bottles that I could. I would spray anywhere from four to 10 sprays as much as I felt like he needed. Sometimes I would spray his face. Sometimes I would spray it right in his mouth. Um, we used the uh, nebulizer the nebulizer on him. We used when, the... when, when they would pull the curtain closed and give her some privacy, then um, we just had a little quiet little nebulizer that we would put a little bit in it and we would just hold it and let it just blow and nebulize so that he was breathing that in while he was nursing. Mm -hmm. And then we, especially for the first few days, we used the magic gel 
on his head, which is why he within it was just within a few days actually that he was about two inches shorter than when he first came out because of everything that happened. Yeah. So we would rub that on his head, we would rub that on his feet. Um, and some of the nurses had some concerns. I was not concerned one bit. And they told me that he was going to be in there for the full six weeks that he needed that. So I was at 34 weeks and I had six more weeks to go. They said that he would be in there that full six weeks until his actual due date. And my baby came home after two weeks of being in the NICU. And I attribute a lot of that to one, good nurses and good doctors, but a lot of it to this magic water. I feel like it helped him a ton. And my baby was born at five pounds, 10 ounces. He was a big preemie. And the baby that I'm currently carrying is measuring about seven, seven and a half pounds right now at 34, 35 weeks with the last that they checked. So I already, I have big babies and I'm pretty sure it's because I've been drinking this water to help me and help my baby. Anyways, when we got home, I continued to nebulize. I continued to rub the gel. I continued to spray the water in his bottles, on his face. Um, pretty much any chance that I, that I got, I would do this for him. And what's cool about our hospital or state, I'm not really sure what the program is, but we had a nurse that every month would come to our house and would check on the development of our baby, both physically and mentally, to see how he was progressing. And something that was really funny that they told us when we were in the hospital is that they called him a wimpy white boy. So I guess out of all races and of females and males, white males are the weakest when they come out. They're usually the sickest. They take the longest to heal. They uh, they have more complications. They don't know why, but out of everybody, white males, they call them wimpy white boys. <laughs> so they said that he probably was going to have some issues and that we needed to pay attention to those. Well, every time the nurse came, she would say, oh, he looks like he's right on track. Oh, he's doing this. That's great. That's exactly how he should be doing. And after, I don't even think we got to a year, it was probably six to nine months that the nurse finally said, he looks great. If you have any questions, you can call me and I will come back. We're good up to his second birthday, um, which is usually how long we monitor them. But he's hitting at or above where he should be on even a regular scale. He was a little small for his age after like gestationally, he's been a little small. His head has been huge the whole time, <laughs> <laughs> but he's always been healthy. He has not had any major complications. Um, it's been really amazing to see him be developmentally and mentally and physically and emotionally exactly where he needs to be. So I remember that when the nurse came and you called me and you're like, mom, guess what? <laughs> he is above, he's hitting above normal on, and the nurse, I'm friends with the nurse. And she was just like, she couldn't believe it. She just said, this baby is ex just exceeding every baby I go visit. She just said, I never know what I'm going to get developmentally. But she says, I kind of look forward to coming here because her baby would exceed everything in all the testing when she, when she would get here to testing. So, so we love it. We love using it mm -hmm. on them. We let them drink it. We let them use the gel on them. It's really great for diaper rashes, Very for cuts great. and scrapes and bruises for those little kids. And we just, they always want the magic gel or the magic spray, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, just wanted to let you know that we as a family have chosen to use it. We read the safety studies and that worked for us. Um, There's so many patents on this too that with those patents, we know that there is a level of expertise and scientific study and evaluation that has been done on this. 
that is not done on most products. So we feel really um, blessed and really grateful that we've been able to use it with um, you to keep you healthy. Mm -hmm. I remember even after the delivery, it was so hard for her to recover because she had a lot of problems after. And so I had her, it's the normal dose to drink is only two ounces twice a day. But I had her drinking a pouch, which a pouch is eight ounces. I had her drinking three, three pouches. pouches a day. And she was able to recover so quickly. And we did that for about, what, two months? Um, I don't think I did Six. full three pouches every day. I think I did that for two weeks. And about then I was weeks. still... I was still at above the normal. I can't remember how much I was drinking, but I was drinking above the normal for a while after. Yeah, for quite a but while. But even within two weeks after having a really traumatic birth for me and my baby, it within two weeks I felt like I was basically back to normal, other than sitting down. Other than <laughs> sitting down, yeah. That took a little while longer, so... Well, okay, thanks you guys, and hopefully this has helped answer some of those questions that you have had on your mind. So reach out to us or the person that um, introduced this video to you. Uh, my name's Lorianne Garner and you can reach me at Lorianne at LorianneGarner.com and that's L-O-R-I-A-N-N -N at Lorianne Garner, G-A-R-N-E-R.com. Thanks guys. Bye.